Hey! Okay, so it's been a while since I've talked Star Wars, so let's talk Star Wars. <laughs> now, if you're unfamiliar with the game Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, I'm going to give you a little um, insight to the game. It was released in 2003 by LucasArts. This is one of the best games, in my opinion, that LucasArts ever released. Um, oh, I played this game for hours. It's a role-playing game, and it takes place almost 4,000 years before the formation of the Galactic Empire, where Darth Malak, or Malak, and um, you can correct me, of course, uh, a Dark Lord of the Sith has unleashed a Sith Armada against the Republic. The player character, as a Jedi, must venture to different planets in the galaxy to defeat Malak. Uh, players choose from three character classes, scout, soldier, or scoundrel, and customize their characters as the beginning at the beginning of the game and engage in round-based combat against enemies. Through interacting with other characters and making plot decisions, care, uh, players <laughs> my dyslexia is going bonkers. Players can earn light side and dark side points and the alignment systems will determine whether the player's character aligns with light or dark side of the force. It was a well-made game. It really was. And you can get it on Steam or good old games. So um, I haven't picked it up and I should. But um... <laughs> now here's the thing. Um, a while ago, I don't remember exactly when, I think like, uh, let's say the fall. <laughs> The fall of last year, so fall of 2019, because I, I can't really pinpoint what month. There were talks of, um, confirmed talks, <laughs> of there being like a TV series or a movie for Knights of the Old Republic. Now, I was behind that. I thought that that would be really neat. And, um, and then it just kind of dropped. And... But at the same time, I think it dropped because then Kathleen Kennedy was saying no more movies and all of that stuff after Rise of Skywalker. So it was kind of like, oh, sad face. Okay, I get it. And um, so then all of a sudden what's happening is I'm seeing these articles circulating about rumors of Knights of the Old Republic remake. What? Why would you remake one of the most popular games for LucasArts? Now, <laughs> first red flag is that there are a lot of these rumors that circulate that are heavily debunked. <laughs> Starting with the, the John Wayne thing, there was another one that I, I can't think of off the top of my head. But, all of these, it's like, there's no source. Where do they, and one of the articles actually mentioned that, that I read, it's like, there, there is no source. So is there a remake or isn't there? Where are these rumors coming from? Good question. Why would you remake something that is clearly in Steam and good old games? And it was there as of today. It's not like they pulled it out of these um places so i mean what's the point of getting the fan base all excited and all crazy and who's doing this what's the point <laughs> i mean you know i i remember playing this game the graphics were great you know, it's it's not like one of those that it was completely blocky and everything and and all of that. And you know, t to be honest, Lucas Arts spent more time on their Star Wars games than they did with some of their others. I think I've said that before. And um, but <laughs> Star Wars is George Lucas's baby, so it, it is what it is. But, and, and the story, 
that you followed was pretty fantastic. <laughs> and, um, I mean, like, a, a, a lot of the others followed characters, you know, like there was Obi-Wan that we got in 2001. I think a lot of people forget that one. Or they were stuff from the movies. Like, I remember the Padres game. I think I mentioned that one. Or they were specifically from the games. I mean, from the movies. Uh, there was, like, a Phantom Menace and, of course, uh, Super Star Wars. <laughs> was, or they were centered around the extended universe, like the books. And um, so this was entirely on its own. I, there were a few that were... I think there was one series that was... Um, an exception but yeah this one and it is still popular now why would you reboot that that's a stupid idea but again there is no source just like there's no source <laughs> for these other ones it's like where are these dropped rumors coming from It's a huge waste of time. It gets everyone excited over something that's never happening, if it's happening. And, you know, to be honest, when they were talking about a movie or a TV series, I don't remember which one it is, but again, Kathleen Kennedy said, we're not doing that anymore. If it were a TV series on uh, Disney+, Plus, I would be so behind it because this is perfect for a TV series because they've got Mandalorian and they've got uh, Obi-Wan and they've got... Uh, I think they still have Obi-Wan. I don't know what's going on with that. And, um, but yeah, it would be perfect for a TV series. So, you know, <laughs> but as for the game itself, I highly recommend this game. <laughs> oh my gosh, I played it so much. Um... Yeah, you, um, there's Darth Malak. I know I've talked about Darth Vaughn before, but yeah, this is another, uh, Darth. <laughs> and, um, it, it doesn't disappoint. Like I said, the graphics are fantastic. And 2003, yeah, that's when, uh, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb came out. So, yeah, this is when the graphics were polished up and everything. So, um... But anyway, as for this rumor going around about a remake, as for right now, I don't believe it's a thing because there is no source. There are a lot of article writers that are fitting the pieces together and realizing it. where is it coming from? <laughs> so, but, but, um... Yeah, this was released in 2003. It's a role-playing game. And it's, I need to get it for myself because, oh my gosh, I, I played it for hours. <laughs> if that says anything. So yeah, if, if um, you ever had any question about it, it is amazing. It, it's an amazing game. Graphics are great. The story is great. So um, yeah, that's Knights of the Old Republic. 